Hello YouTube, this is Ted at Progression Ignition. I just wanted to make a quick video to show you guys how easy it is to swap out an old mechanical HEI like this with a mechanical advance and a vacuum canister to a brand new Progression Ignition HEI which doesn't have any mechanical adjustments inside. It has a state-of-the-art module that communicates to your cell phone or your tablet. All the timing adjustments are made with your phone or with your tablet. It also has a built-in rev limiter and a kill switch that allows you to disable the ignition when you're parking. So check it out. It's a straightforward swap. There's no extra wires. There's no boxes. It's really easy. I hope you like it. The first thing we need to do is identify the cylinder number one spark plug wire. Then we need to mark that on the housing. Always note the firing order. A small block Chevy, it's 18436572, and they go clockwise. That's very important. Now we can remove all the spark plug wires and the power connector and the coil harness connector from the cap. Twist the screws to enable you to pull the cap off. Now we need to rotate the engine so the rotor is pointed towards the cylinder number one mark that we made. Use a breaker bar with the socket to turn the engine to exactly 10 degrees before top dead center. This step is very important. Now we can remove the hold down clamp and pull the distributor out of the engine. On the new distributor, we're going to mark our cylinder number one the same as the old distributor. Apply some assembly lube to the gear so the gear will break in and won't damage your camshaft. Now insert the new distributor with the new gasket with the rotor in roughly the same position as the old one. It might take a little bit of coaxing to get it to drop in fully because the oil pump drive has to engage. There we go. Make sure it's seated all the way down. Now when we install the hold down clamp, we want to tighten it as tight as we can and still be able to turn the distributor. There are alignment marks engraved into the top of the distributor. These marks are to align the rotor tip. We set the engine at 10 degrees before top dead center because that's where the alignment marks reference to. Align the rotor tip to the mark that's nearest the cylinder number one mark that we made on the housing earlier. Progressive Ignition HEI has the vacuum port machined into the bottom of the housing. Make sure the vacuum port is connected to full manifold vacuum. Now we can install the new cap. Install the coil harness connector and the power connector and that's all you need to do. There's no extra wires required. Using the mark we made earlier, connect the number one spark plug wire. Then connect the rest of the wires in sequence and in the correct direction. For a small block Chevy, it's clockwise. One, eight, four, three, six, five, seven, two. 
and remember to double check this. Attach a timing light to the cylinder number one spark plug wire. Double check the connections and start the engine. For the next step, we need to rev the engine to 1200 RPM and hold it there. The progression ignition HEI comes pre-programmed with a fixed timing at 10 degrees before top dead center. Turn the distributor housing until the timing light reads 10 degrees. Now the distributor is in sync with the crankshaft. Now I'm going to show you how to use the app to create a custom timing table and send it to the distributor. Open up the app, press scan, and select your distributor. Now press the generator button. Select the number of cylinders in the engine. Next, type in your idle speed. This particular engine idles at 750 RPM. Then, enter the number of degrees you want at idle in the idle timing box. Now we're going to enter our max RPM based timing number. This is at wide open throttle. Typical numbers for a small block Chevy are between 30 and 36 degrees. We're going to select 34. Next is all in RPM. This is where you're going to see all 34 degrees at wide open throttle. We're just going to leave it with the default at 3000. Now let's enter how many degrees of vacuum advance we want. You can also change the start and end points for vacuum advance, but in this case, the defaults work just fine. Enter a rev limit and we're done. It's that easy. Now we can press the generate table button. Now let's take a look at our table. If it looks good, we can save it to the distributor. We press the save button. Now it asks for a name, so we'll just call it test. As soon as I hit save, it immediately switches to the new table. You can see that now we're idling at 17, which is exactly what it should be. It's tracking the table perfectly. As you can see, the bubble moving around the screen tells you what your timing is in real time. And you can see as you move the throttle, the effect that it has on the pressure and the RPM. You can also see the timing number. It gives you all the information you need to tune your table. All of the advanced cells are tunable. You can also change the RPM breakpoints and the map breakpoints. You can also change the rev limit and you can save as many tables as you want in the phone and then switch to them at any time. You're going to get so much better performance than a mechanical HEI, and it's so much easier. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more tuning videos, and check out ProgressiveIgnition.com.